You know, in the past five, six, seven years, we've seen an interesting change in the world of consumer technology, a shift in terms of the kinds of materials that we use to design our gadgets. We've moved from using plastic, which has dominated our world and is an artificial material we've designed in a lab, to returning to materials from nature, such as carbon, glass, and steel. The first major example would be the Razer cell phone. Motorola replaced the plastic screen and plastic body with a lightweight metal frame, glass screen, and rather intriguing, a keypad where the numbers are chemically etched out of steel. At a larger scale, you have Apple replacing the plastics in laptops and introducing a unique unibody design, meaning that the entire case of the computer itself is just one piece carved out of a single brick of aluminum. Now the latest example of this comes from Dell. This is the XPS 13, a very thin ultrabook computer. And in terms of replacing plastic, it uses quite an innovative mix of different materials. It begins with Dell using machined aluminum for the lid and main component of the body of the laptop, allowing it to be remarkably thin, lightweight, and of course strong. The bottom shell is made of carbon fiber. Carbon is usually the impurities we remove from metal, but when it's interwoven with plastic, it creates a resiliency very similar to steel, and most importantly for laptops, which heat up, it remains cool to the touch. The 13-inch edge-to-edge screen is made of chemically hardened glass, the same Gorilla Glass used in smartphones and tablets. And accompanying the aesthetics of a backlit keyboard is a touchpad, which itself is also made of glass for precision and control. And with an Intel Core i7 processor, it actually delivers a performance that matches its looks. It has an impressive 8-hour battery life, and with a solid-state hard drive, can actually resume functionality from sleep mode in just a few seconds. Although I think the screen itself could be a little more vivid, all in all, this is a very sweet machine. Naturally, a major driving force behind this is aesthetics. Metal and glass tend to retain their beauty a lot longer than plastic which over time can become deeply discolored and even break down. Already on this game system, the foot pads are turning into a black goo. But the real gain is that we're moving away from oil-based products towards materials that are a lot easier to recycle. And although the cost goes up, nothing is quite as cheap as plastic on a mass scale, I think that for those devices that we use every day in our lives, it's a worthwhile investment.